Good morning once again. Uh, my name is Murungwa uh, Narufure, uh, and welcome to BLG 1501 Practicals. And I'm going to be your tutor for the module for the duration of this semester or this year. Uh, so I'm just going to do my brief introduction, which is not going to even last for a bit. So I hold my qualification in terms of my qualification. I have my BSc in honors and I have BSc in botany and zoology. That was my first degree, which I completed in 2015, uh, where obviously if you do botany and zoology, you major in Obviously, things like cell biology, biodiversity. You also are allowed to add some uh, plant anatomy, plant physiology, conservation biology, and you also have some electives where you do computer literacy theory and there, and some physical science and statistics here and there, and mathematics. And uh, I always tell people that statistics is very, very important and very significant in your studies especially if you're going to further your if you've got ambitions to further your studies into and branch into research because statistics is part of everything when you got your data and when you got whatever that you have that you're going to be working in is either in biology whatever information that you have you need to analyze it so the tools of analysis are within statistical parameters so Statistics, if I could have a child or I could have somebody that I could advise is that if you have an opportunity to do it as an elective, do it as early as you can and carry it all the way to when you complete your studies. Then after that, I did my honors and I was majoring in zoology in the same university, University of Venda, where I also had the luxury of doing a uh, electives such as molecular biology and invertebrate biology and animal ecophysiology uh, which is much more related to most of the things that are seen in your in the guideline of the things that we're going to be doing so trust me uh, most of the things that we're going to be talking about yeah i really really did study them as well and obviously of course the the research methodology was one of the models that we were thought into preparation because honors is just to prepare you to the world of research and everything. Then I did my MSc also, which I completed it. Uh, when did I complete my honors? It was my master's. It was in 2020. It was just a pure research, although I was doing a combination of ecology and uh, statistics, but I was registered under the Department of Zoology, where I was checking them. I was doing a research in the insectivorous diversity in relation to proximity and type of water source at two sites in Limpompo Valley. In the case studies of uh, Mapungu Bia National Park and uh, Venetia Nature Reserve. So what I was doing is just I was just doing a research in the combination of the impacts that water, water you see today in South Africa or in the context of our country, there is a problem of water shortages in our country. Even now, it's no it's no longer affecting only the the. The, the 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 rural areas or the remote areas is now approaching to the cities where we are having the water cartridge and all the water shedding and stuff like that so also the water has an impact on animals even in animals that you will think ah oh, do they need water yeah even animals such as mammals like bed and their diversity so we were checking and researching how the the absence of water bodies in some areas have an impact on animals and the impact that artificial water bodies has on certain animals in those comparison. But that's something that I did and I'm done with, with one publication and I packed it there. So recently, but currently now I'm registered as PhD students. So we are the same. We are all students in some way or the other. If there's, if you think you are suffering, I'm also suffering. So yeah, I guess these tutorials will be helping each other. Uh, so I'm registered in the in the in the genetics and bioinformatics, where I am checking the prof. I'm profiling the the the, the diversity and the distribution of some species called Gonombrasia bellina and Jinanisa maja, commonly known by most of you as Mopane worm in South Africa. So what we're trying to do is that because 
there is a now a really really good food security threat so these mopani worms which previously or traditionally they were consumed just for 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 it was just consumed for traditional purposes and for nutritional purposes it was not commercialized but recently in the past few years there have been a huge demand of which are commercialized so uh, there is now a huge interest especially in their species abundance and uh, and, and 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 sort of like a um, stability because now when there is a demand in commercialism because believe you in me studies show that the commercialization and the trade of Mopane, this Mopane worm is a billion trade, it's a billion rand uh, 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 industry. So there's a huge amount of trade between the sub-Saharan African countries and in African as general. So there's a growing interest. So when there's a growing interest, there's a thing that factors over harvesting and everything. So we want to check it this species in a genetic point of view how those species and their diversity and their taxonomy are distributed so generally that's it about me so i'm hoping that this brief introduction will clear the air that you guys will feel uh, a bit ease and a bit uh, welcome this is just a tutorial they call it a tutorial letter so i'm going to start here this is the message for you where they are just welcoming you to the biology session and uh, how that you're just saying that you are gonna enjoy the course because one thing that you should do is to you know as much as that you might be struggling and having everything but every experience you should be able to enjoy it so this session or this biology consists of several section and uh, you may find it difficult but uh, as you go on we want to assure you that you will make progress in your studies and obviously people like myself are here to assist you where you might be slagging or where you might be struggling in the all aspects so all aspects of this biology will be clear and understandable your under your study your study for this model will be satisfying if you are devoting and pay regular attention to the study here the staff in the biology section and and consumer science would like to assist you and encourage you and so this there are people that you need to familiarize yourself in as much as uh, 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 we might be scheduled here in on on we meet on saturdays but you need to familiarize yourself with some people especially your lecturers and i always say they 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 they, they, they be that person who is a nuisance to their lecturer. <laughs> Don't tell them that I told you this. So always bother them. If you've got something that you're struggling with, don't wait until, until find means to ask for assistance. Maybe perhaps to myself, but yes, maybe if I cannot assist you on something, then you can elevate it to your lecturer. But I'm, I, I, I'm sure there is no limits. Even your lecturers will be very open to assist you. Some of this tutorial, Meta may not be available when you okay register and all of that, and this is not meta and all of this, but you need to familiarize yourself with this. I I am hoping that all of you have this. If I'm and if I'm correct, as I conclude on this, is that the purpose of this module is to introduce you to biology and its development as a life science. This guide will provide you with insight into the building blocks of biology and the links of these blocks and the role of cells in living organism will be explored as an interrelated of relatedness of by bi this biology and the various biological building blocks that are involved. So in that uh, 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 aspect is that biology is is is, is very is, is is very broad and usually back then people always thought maybe biology is just a it's just an aspect where you are only to people when they think about biology they think of medicine they think of yeah they think of uh, bio biotechnology stuff and all that but there are a lot of various things that you can explore there are a lot of things that it will be basing it, it will be it will be a base or it will be a foundation of and there are some of the outcomes that you are expected that you go through and you contextualize the physical and chemical characteristics of life that you will have to demonstrate 
the knowledge regarding the plant and animal con co composition and perhaps animal physiology to some extent, the concepts such as protein synthesis and respiration, and the knowledge of those. I'm not going to go for the curriculum information, but this is just a, 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 a guideline which you need to familiarize yourself. I'm glad that you guys have this. And obviously, these are the contacts of your lecturers. I cannot stress this enough. Please make sure that these are the people that you are familiarizing yourself with. You, if you struggle with anything, I don't know, but you make means to, to, to contact them, make means for them to know that uh, 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 you are struggling at some sort, if there is that thing that you are struggling at. So there are also resources, prescribed books. Uh, most of these uh, uh, things, you can get them in the online. There's a, there's a portal on your university website. I'm sure all of you has a, those are, how do you call it? I forgot the name that they call it that portal that you have your details and then you log in and then you get access to the prescribed books. It's very, very in, important. Here we go, electronic e-reserved books, which all of this information, you can download them and have the access to this. We, you guys are young and, and sophisticated and energetic. So the only thing that you need here is just data or access to internet which um assuming that all you have and if somebody said he or she does not have i will find that hard to 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 to, to comprehend so please please make sure that you have access to all of these uh, 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 materials and then you consume them and they will be very very helpful i remember in the last year last year um, group i had to do some work for them a little bit i downloaded a bit for them and then we shared them with them and 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 and, and it worked so here's the instruction when it comes to if you cannot access the 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 the, the information electronically on your university website there are always people that you can in it that you can always con make contact with them they will be able to assist you and you'll be able to access the you know, they are helpful i also once again one one to one time i struggle to access but if you hit them with an email or so they will they they, they, they will come back to you at their earliest convenient with the link to if you forgot your password and everything and all of that yeah you know. and also there are some some facebook and some group on online and social media somehow somewhere where people they, the easiest way to find people is on social media so there are a lot of places where you will find that some of your friends are talking about the stuff that they're going through at the university so it's also good to also check this unisa library on facebook and on twitter and then maybe if you're struggling with something there if you just tweet it and facebook it you'll find that there's somebody even previously who has had the same problem so today we are not gonna uh, um like i said it's not gonna be a, a, a long uh, a, 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 a session i just want to start with the introduction of this uh, a, 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 a chapter or the first session or the first uh, in your in, if you check in your your in your guidelines you will find that there's a sequence for 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 for, for, for chapters which you're gonna need to 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 go through so it's very very important for you to 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 also check on the on the tutorial guideline to the the chapters that you're going through so today i'm just gonna go through the first first concept or the first uh, concept or skill where we're going to be going through uh, the, the themes of con connect concept of biology and then from next week we're going to be doing a uh, 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 um, tackling question papers past question papers and assisting you with the assignments and all the units but today i just want to give you on this concept of biology because it's the theme where it is only a, a, a concept where it's a generalization categorize of living organism in terms of the structural level and is the illustrated levels within the example and where they describe the the the, the properties and the 
of life and they distinguish between some terms and they distinguish between some structures and their function and all of those. So that's where we're going to be going from now. The, the chapter one, this is courtesy. Uh, in your tutorials, in your tutorials, they, there is a session which I didn't come, which I didn't uh, tackle. It's a, it's a section about uh, plagiarism. Uh, so when you are writing your assignments, if they are forcing, if not, listen to me, if they are requesting you to 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 draft a, a, a chapter or an essay point of view, where you're gonna have to, if you write something which is more than two paragraph and it's not yours, you need to reference, you need to indicate that this is not your work, you need to indicate that according to so and so, this is what they say. So if you are asked what is biology and you just, there is a book by Nicole Tanbridge and Kathleen, and you just go and say it. Yeah, in, 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 in a straightforward one word question, it's fine, you can do that. But if you are writing in a research format or in a paragraph format, technically it's wrong for you to just go and just take it as it is without acknowledging them so it is they will label it as plagiarism so even my notes that i'm using here i just want to make a disclaimer that these are not my notes these are notes courtesy to from this uh, nicole and tamaraj katrin so they have outlined the, this chapter and this concept very well so it will be very helpful and i hope you have access to this you can be able to use them very well for the purposes of your before of your assignments and your exam if you got access to this also this one of these notes will, will help you in addition to the study material that you're going to have so inquiring about life as an organism and adaptations to its environment are the results of evolution because life when we're talking about life as where it sprouted we need to talk about evolution for example the color of the beach her mouth has come to be well matched or adapted to its local background so the concept of evolution is is a process in one way or form or the other it's a process some 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 studies will indicate it's, it's a gradual uh, uh, process of change that transformed life so life started from somewhere else and uh, it involved locations geographical locations it could be unique if you check it ourselves you will check at certain people african people the people who came from you can just check people from central africa from northern africa from west africa from 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 south saharan africa you check at their complexion and you check even their history there is a process because this involves even the places you'll find that there are places where when there was uh, less people in that particular area and now years later after that when there are more people so things changes so that's evolution so and the most the most key or the key factor there is that a, 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 an individual has to adapt to its background or to its environment. So an environment will force you to adapt. That's the nature of life. You'll be forced to in, in involve and you'll be forced to adapt to a certain, certain manner. Otherwise, you will be wiped away or you won't be able to stand the test in this new environment. So even this little fella here, you see, so they are saying here, like they made an example that the color of this beach mouse has come to be well matched or adapted to its background. Why? There are various number of reasons that we're gonna focus on in the in 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 the future. Some of the reason will be for 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 protection against its predictor, so that you cannot. If there are people who wanna hunt for this little fella, when its color resemble the ground or the area it could be very difficult to notice it or it could be very easy for it to hide from its enemies and even this little fella here you see here uh, it's i'm very colorblind but i'm sure this is brown so 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 this 
fellow here has resembled the, the 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 color of the ground and one other example which i think is not here is also the puff adder the puff adder is a snake it's a very quiet snake it it, it resembles the color of this uh, 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 ground and this leafy area where the you see the environment in the forest usually it's in the forest the forest where it's full of canopy and that environment in the ground of that uh, forest canopy you will see that there is a mat of dead leaves which are brown so you can if you have spent some time going on the mountain in some areas you'll find that the the ground is full of of, of leaves where you can even carry the leaves in a shuffle and think that maybe you have soil but you don't have soil but you do have the leaves so even the puff adder the studies show that it resembled that culture and it's 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 mechanism to hide against his enemies when it's hidden in that so biology is the scientific study of life so biologists ask questions so unless you're gonna but I wish I could say unless you're gonna go away, but either way, you, you 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 when you're studying biology, you are you you are a researcher. You are a researcher because biology studies how a single they study they they, they ask question they ask question how why they check the development the 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 the, the, the development of an individual the study of a certain species they, all those stuff they form part of biology so. Biologists, you guys will be asking questions as to how, why does a single cell develop into an organism? Biology is a quest of an ongoing inquiry of a nature of life. Life defines simple life in one sentence definition, and it's recognized by what living things do. So, I just want to state st a, a question, a question, trust me, I think it will, it will be the only question that I'm going to ask you. You are the ones who will ask me question. What is the most a threat to biology or what is the, the, okay, let me put it like this. What is the one question that all of us as natural scientists, biologists, we are trying to solve in the world? I think is what life is. Okay. They're trying to figure out what life is. Yeah. What? But what is what? What is the threat to life? What is the threat to life? There is a comment here. Yes, the complexity of life. The complexity we have that of answer. life. Yeah. There, there's, a, there's, a, there's. A, I, I, I think you're not wrong, but it's, it's true. But most of this uh, answer they are combined into what this call they call it global warming and all that that is one basic thing that all of the scientists together they are they are saying they're trying to solve that we need to that the threat to life is global warming if we don't we use our water sparingly or conservatively in one way or the other they are children of the children of my children won't find water so i'm supposed to be saving water if I don't use the wood or the the, the 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 biodiversity or the it I have to save it and all that. So biology is about so the threat to biology is none other than global warming. So that's one thing that we are all trying to to solve and all that. I could be wrong I, and I need somebody to challenge me on this, but yeah, at least somebody talk to me. So life defined as a simple is recognized by what living things do what we do what we always do and that's what channel us where we're gonna be so there's an order there's a processing if you see this little fellas here i don't have a pointer let's say it forms like energy processing uh, evolutionary adaptation regulation that's reproduction that's response to the environment there's growth and development and so this the characteristics of a living organism is characteristics of biological input of life where you're gonna have to they, they, they have to be your your system or your 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 environment has to be regulated and for somehow for your individuals to 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 survive more they have to be reproduction they have to be the response to the environment you're gonna have to be quick you're gonna have to grow and 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 be in the development and they have to be that exchange and input of relationship and some biotic relationship where there's energy processing 
like I said, this process, this order, evolutionary adaptation. These are just characteristics of of life and the environment. And the processing of energy. So this is, so they, they, they put a video on this one. If you got, got the whole hold of this, you will be able to see the video of the seahorse confluence where those people who love the the, the 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 things in the sea they will be able to see. So 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 this concept of of of, of life reveals uh, themes. So so the biology is a is an enormous or is a it's a study of various group of themes, whether uh, various themes others are even before this or they are below there are within these themes there are also various various uh, mechanism and uh, themes and uh, subject where every concept is is there there are concept such as adaptation there are concept but these are just the major way we're talking about the organization information energy and matter interactions and evolution and please when you are going through this notes or when you're going through this don't leave your 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 your, your concept in the tutorial letter behind as to how they're going because it's going to be the one that is gonna you're going to be able to check your lecturer or the examiner as to how or where they will be able to 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 examine you or ask you questions. So the new properties that emerge on the successive levels of biological organization uh, can be studied in different levels from molecules to the entire planet, and these ranges can be divided into levels of this biological organization that we're talking about. So. If you hear this is a very uh, colorful graphic representation that these people have done, if we talk about the, the biosphere, the whole biosphere, the whole thing that UN and America are saying you need to stop using the much big emissions because you're going to be polluting the universe, the biosphere, then there's an ecosystem, then there's communities within ecosystem, then there's pollution populations within the ecosystem, there is an organism within the population, and then there's organ, there's tissues, there is cells, there are organelles, and there are molecules. So that's where we come from. That's the cycle like or that's how. So you're gonna be doing about molecules here that's what we are talking about about uh when we're talking about the molecules that way we're talking about the gene on the gene level on the gene level uh what we're talking about is the same species or not and everything is the gene level then we talk about organelle then we talk about cells then we talk about tissues then we talk about organs then we talk about organism that's where we're going to have to know if this plant species is a sclerocaria berea, if this uh, 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 plant species is it a lantana camara, if this plant species is a what. So that's where uh, uh, most, uh, I know I'm, I'm about to say, a, a very, in, in terms of research wise, it's a very strong statement which uh, I need to be very careful to. This is where ecological uh, uh, study starts to the research start here on the organism level. And then there's a population level. So here on the population level, we're going to be talking, let's say it's an example. These are this is a, let me just, this Cameroon in organism. Where does Cameroon come from? Its population is the population in Johannesburg, the population, how many population of Cameroon in Johannesburg and from the different same species. Uh, there, are common, there are certain number of species, population species or population number in Johannesburg. Communities now, we are talking about a community. Now there's a community which involves other factors, not only the individual, only some species. We talk about animal species now. Our focus could be only on the on the on the on the on the animal species, but now there are factors that that, that, that affect the species like water, like environment, their biodiversity, their environment in general, the ecosystem, 
it's the ecosystem, everything together, everything together that affects how does those do, 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 do affect those species, everything that is in that environment, how does this uh, affect that species? And then you go to the whole biosphere concept. The biosphere, that's the first one. The ecosystem, yes, where everything is coming together, the trees, the plants, the shrubs, the top of the soil, the, 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 the proximity to water, water bodies and everything, uh, the, 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 the edges, there is something called the edges. They did so if you can see here, there are sometimes you can find that there are some plantation, there are some demarcations, you know, in an environment. You could find that if you can look here in the picture, there are some environment that where you see trees which are the same, but here you see the 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 the, the, the few shrubby trees which consist of colorful gray and reddish. Uh, not plants, but yeah, plants. But there's a gap here, so those gaps, sometimes they call it a, 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 a edge. So most of the time they categorize them as a main made uh, uh, edge. I might be not, I might be not using the right terminology. And um, sometimes there's a natural edge where there is a edge, edge is that the, uh, 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 um, in places like Bokruga National Park, or in nature reserves, which has people which are guarding them, or maybe in various places where they are guarding it, but you don't, they call it breaks, fire breaks, you know, there will be a road, you will see, oh, these people have made a break, no, they call it fire breaks or edge, where if they are trying to revive that ecosystem, because that ecosystem need to replenish itself, and uh, fire is one of the major impacts of the ecosystem so they have planned fires where they bend the whole ecosystem when they bend the whole environment so in order for fire not to jump to one area they create this an uh, edge where in if we're talking about a national park point of view they will be called fire breaks but if it's just an area or just a random farm of anybody we'll just call edge so the difference will be is it a non is it a is it a natural edge or is it a man-made edge if it's a natural edge is that that you just see that when you just rock up to this area the environment just change but if it's a man-made edge you will see that maybe the natural environment or the natural biodiversity is demarcated by a farm or by something else by another plantation so that's how you can differentiate and then there are communities where there are individuals that coexist you find different types of animals different types of species different types of plant species within those communities and then those population population now we are focusing on these fellas i'm sure this is blue this is blue, this population of blue trees that we're going to be focusing on. Those are your population. Then there's an individual organism, there's an organism, there's a tissue where you're going to have to study it. And uh, so that you guys don't, in this particular model, you don't do practicals. But when you go further, there will be a point where you're going to go and view this plant tissue or animal tissue on a microscope in your practicals where you can be able to see and label it the membrane and the cell wall and nucleus and all of that and then also the cell level and the organelles where you're going to see the chloroplants plants and all those and this molecules are combination of atoms, chlorophyll, molecule, we're still going to have a chapter where we're going to focus on those. So another concept, which is uh, there's an, uh, an emergence properties, which are results of the arrangement of or interaction parts within the system. So those properties are characterized by what they call non-biological entities. Uh, so for example, you're going to have a functioning bicycle energy only when all necessary parts of it are connected in the correct way and the reduction approach would therefore be isolated in the living concept so to explore such of these pro properties biologists will complement the reduction within those systems in the biology and they will do an analysis among the parts of those biological systems where those systems can be used 
on to study life at a, in those levels. So there have to be a, 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 a structure and a function. And functioning is how 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 an object or how a structure operates. So at the each level of biological hierarchy, we find a correlation between structure and fi functioning. And so this analysis, which will give clue about what it does, how it works, how it maneuvers, and conversely, so you, if knowing the you, there will be you come across questions where your examiner will say or oh, give the function of this term, give the function of a nucleus, give the function of ribosome, give the function of this structure and structure and all of that. If you're lucky or if you are unlucky, they will just bring those uh, 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 functions the, in, in, in a comparison, in a table where they say this ribosome, this what and what. I think that's the most difficult. By the way, they will bring that and then say match the following time, or it's a multiple choice where they will just say match the correct answer. But the point is that you, the, the, the knowing the function of something provides an insight into its structure and organization. So those uh, questions that they're going to be throwing at you will be for purpose of this to know their structure and knowing how the organization works. So like this little fella here, let's move on, and. On a cell level, an organism basics unit of structure and function. So the cell, like what we said there, when in that uh, little colorful uh, uh, diagram, is the smallest unit of the organization that can perform all activities that are required for life. So every cell is enclosed by a membrane that regulates the passage of material between the cell and its environment. So already here, already here, when I'm reading this, I know that this is also the function. If they ask you what's the function of a cell, so 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 you'll be like every cell enclosed by a membrane, it regulates that regulates the passage of material of cells. And so when you have access to this, or if you have access to this, you need to underline this. And the cells of the bacteria and archaea are prokaryotic while all other forms of life are composed of eukaryotic cells. So there will be, a, a, I don't know if they put it as a true or false, but as, an, as, a, as a one word, they could be able to examine my one, two, 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 to just trick you. And then they say, uh, source of bacteria and RHA, why while well, all other forms of life are composed of eukaryotic cells then you can know that it's prokaryotic but if he said those one and he replaced eukaryotic with eukaryotic cells or he omit the bacteria or he doesn't add the RHA you can find that it's now being tricky and it's another one so these are the kind of statements that you or to underline and be able to 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 look out for them for one word questions where you're gonna be requested to fill in the term and you need to 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 to, to study them uh, with extra caution because while your examiner is fair but they will always omit one key item and then you may find that you are losing important marks. So eukaryotic cells have membrane enclosed organelles, the largest of which usually are the nucleus. And by comparison, by 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 the the largest, which is usually the nucleus, and by comparison, the comparison or the the example, which will be a prokaryotic cell, which is similar and usually smaller, but does not contain nucleus. Or other membrane in, uh, include. So the difference between eukaryotic and prokaryotic cell is that eukaryotic has an enclosed organelle, but the prokaryotic one is very smaller and it doesn't contain any nucleus membrane in those organelles. So this is just a structure. If you are very lucky, they in your assignments and everything, they will request you to 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 to, to put some labeling. Of a eukaryotic, uh, 
the dif or sometimes they will say give the differences between between eukaryotic cell and prokaryotic cell and you find that there's a 10 max already they already said that prokaryotic is smaller and eukaryotic is much larger so i don't think they 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 they, they they're simple as that eukaryotic has an enclosed organelle and then the, the one is not enclosed and doesn't have the other membrane is not enclosed with organelle so you find the structures here if you so so one thing that i can advise you when if perhaps it's requested but for you to draw which yeah if they request you to draw yeah maybe i started long long ago when we were still required to draw so one thing that i know about the examiners is that your examiner especially in biology they are not looking for your artistic skills they just want you to draw something which is visible enough something which you can be able to explain and uh, and 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 be able to label so if you are being Asked to draw a diagram, don't waste your time in 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 making sure that it's colorful and it's very into yeah artistic form or arts and culture kind of way. Just make sure that you draw an a diagram which is visible and it's label. You need to label it as much as you can. Rather have more labelings than they request for, so that even if you miss something else, you can be. So here you can see the membrane the cytoplasm, which is the gap here, the DNA, which is within here, the nucleus, this whole little fella there. Ooh. This is blue, right? This is purple. Yeah, I think this is purple. This little circle here with purple is a nucleus within it. It's a DNA, and you see membrane enclosed organelles that they're talking about here on the eukaryotic cell, and you can find them here. And here on the top right is a prokaryotic cell where there's a dna no nucleus just membrane so these are the differences where sometimes they can say differentiate you just you're gonna have to write but sometimes they will have a very the examiner will be very very in a good mood where we'll say differentiate in a form of structure or draw you're gonna have to draw in with the representation of a diagram so if they say it, differentiate in a form and differentiate by means of tabulating you need to have a table in that so so those are the things that we, we will focus this when we when we are reviewing the structures of the of the of the assignment and all of that so you need to put that also in mind so this is the structure of your eukaryotic cell and this is the structure of a prokaryotic cell. So another thing, the process which involves the expression and transformation of genetic information. By the way, the offer still stands. People don't, 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 don't hesitate to ask any question or to stop me to ask me any question. Please feel, feel, feel free to do that. So within those cells, Structures are called chromosomes, which contain, I've mentioned this before, genetic material in the form of DA. Not in the form of DA, listen to me, in the form of DNA. So uh, that's where you're going to find DNA, and then that's where you're going to find the unique, the building block of what an individual is. And to some level, that's where you can be able to 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 distinguish distinguish between the 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 the, the, the species. So, I've, we talk about uh, uh, I've mentioned about something about a uh, a global warming as a question, but this time I'm not gonna waste your time by asking you guys a question. So, one of the major 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 uh, concept in in science, not just in natural science. But even in the in the in the plant in botany in in animal science in plant science in biochemistry in microbiology you know the the major one of the major thing which is a challenge is the classification so there are some people who can classify an individual on a species level on an organism level but some terms you're gonna have to go 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 at the deep end where you're going to have to classify in order to classify a certain species you're going to have to classify it on the genetic material 
level. So each chromosome contains one long DNA molecule with hundreds and thousands of genes. So what are those genes? Those genes are the units of inheritance. They are encoded or they are coded with information for building blocks, which are synthesized within a cell. And within those cells, there are genetic information which are encoded by directs, the D, which are the by the DNA direct, by the development of an organism. So, in structural form or in a linear level, is that there's a nucleic D, DNA where there's going to be a sperm, and then it's going to meet an egg cell. You know the 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 the, the drill that egg will be fertilized with the DNA from both parents. Then it will form what we call an embryo cells with copies of both which are both inherited from both parents and the offsprings will have the traits of both parents that's the simple form of it which i'm assuming that yeah most of you know about this but it's not even very hard to grasp and that's the little cute baby there which is from this process yeah then the molecular structure of the dna accounts for its ability to yes to store information this is very important because the dna store information about that particular individual so each dna molecule is made up of two long strands double helix and each content is made up of four chemical building blocks which are called nucleotides they are abbreviated as uh, these are adenine, guanine, forgive my pronunciation, cytosine, and thiamine. So these are those which they are paired, and uh, they are paired. You're gonna find in the next slide which ones I paired with, and um, there are cells and nucleus of the DNA, which is a double helix structure, and this one is the single helix structure which contain these uh, pairs of nucleotides which are paired and all them. So for many genes the sequence provide the blueprint for, 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 for making a protein. So protein encoding gene control protein production in individual where you will find even some concept of um, of, but you don't need to worry about this where you talk about mitochondrial DNA and sometimes there will be a concept where you're going to be if you're going to have to delve even further to a level of a, a whole genome sequencing but you don't need to worry about that but DNA is transcribed, is transcribed into RNA which is then translated into protein that process is a gene expression where is the process of conveying information from gene to cellular product. That's another concept that you need to, 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 to grab there so that you look up for when you're doing your assignment and all those. So in one way or the form, these are the graphic this, uh, explanation of how this gene expression work like, where you find the transcription from DNA to messenger RNA, where there's a process of trans the transcription and then for the chains of amino acids to proteins where there's a process of uh, protein folding so there are levels level here yeah, transcription translation protein folding where there are the signal is there is there is the, is the transaction or the transformation from amino acid to protein or when that are pairing so always thermine will pair with adenine, cytosine will pair with guanine, guan cytosine with guanine. So you're gonna have to know that when it comes to pairing, this have to, 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 to pair with, unless if there are some form of mutation or whatever, or things that we will be recognized as a strength or as a mistake, they in the, in the, in the strand. So, this is just an example of what they're showing here before the in the lens cells, which are tiny packly with the transparent proteins called crystalline. Crystalline, where, which is going to be a lens which uses information in a DNA for crystalline, where it's a crystalline gene. 
and then this just a representation of what and this is the process of transcription where you some from dna to messenger rna and then from messenger rna to amino acid for those chains and this the, the structure of it and the protein folding which is going to lead to what we talking about for crystalline gene gene which is going to lead to crystalline protein as I'm about to conclude, like I mentioned that this is not going to be a long session. So genomics, so, so, so genomics is the analyzing analysis of DNA sequences, which uh, 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 for the purpose of how it's done, it's, it's a very concept, it's part of what I might be able to do or not do, but yeah, I'm going to be doing that, where you sequence the whole gene where you're going to see the, the, the whole structure of a genome of something. I've just recently done this in February for my samples of Mopane. So, but an organism genome is its entire library of genetic instruction, the combination of all the th things which are in that gene. So genomics is the study of the sets of those genes in one or more species. So if you're studying the sets of the sequences of those genes, from not only for one particular species but for more species in all of them so prote proteomics is the study of the whole sets of prote proteins and their properties so if you are worried about just a matter of just um, knowing the concept you are sorted for this and the entire set of these proteins expressed by a given cell or a given tissue or, or an organ it's called a proteome so genomics approach depends on the high output of technology they are very expensive this is part of also what i'm doing they're very very expensive expensive to do some to do if you just have samples if you just went to the field or you just come with some samples it might be of a goat or um, of a cow or whatever but or a dog or, or any animal especially for animals there is very right, to some to sequence let's just say 10 samples it can cost over over eighty thousand just to go and get sequences i did my sequences 34 sequences they cost over a hundred thousand so you need to have like a institute which will have like good funding to do the sequences so they input high input through technology which yield enormous data so bioinformatics is the use of those computational tools to process large volume of data so if you got large volumes of data of about certain species so the bioinformatics is you can determine the age that the projection of those species how the species are related by computation so the idea is that you're gonna in have inherent data information about certain species information about certain group of people individual about certain group of plants because biology is not just about animals it's also about plants and all of that about some 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 bacteria and all of that and in bioinformatics you can have the computation computational analysis about a large, large sets of data, just like that. And that's where interdisciplinary research team come and be in. So let me stop here for, for now, not from next week, but from the next session, we will be dealing particularly combination of these uh, notes and also dealing with the assignment and questions and previous question papers so that we will be tackling them so so please if you can you can just uh, uh, uh bring the what you're struggling with then we'll take it also from there and next week will be full two hours all right so the, just a reminder the next session is on the 15th of april from 8 to 10. students bear in mind that the the a revision of the past question papers is imperative 
it is very, very important um, for your exam. So Mr. Nilufule will first start with the the syllabus and then from there towards the, the end of the sessions, um, closer to your examination, you will then tackle the previous exam question papers. Students, thank you so much for joining us today. Please do have a pleasant weekend and we thank you. In the absence of questions, I now declare this session closed. And